Hello my dear students, this is Praveen Bansal, your accounts coach, teaching class 12th accountancy. Book number 2, chapter number 6, cash flow statement. This is our fourth part of cash flow statement. In the previous sessions, we discussed about cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from investing activities. Now, in this session, we would be discussing cash flow from financing activities. In the first session, we discussed how capital structure of a company moves up and down, how equity share capital, preference share capital, debenture, long-term loans, etc., etc., are going to be subtracted and added. And this is what you deal with, cash flow from financing activities. Let us understand cash flow from financing activity by an example. Here on your screen, you can see equity share capital have increased from 2 lakh to 6 lakh, security premium reserve from 2 lakh to 3 lakh, debentures have increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh and preference share capital is same. Students, items which are on your screen are going to affect the capital structure. If you recall, all these long-term instruments, equity share capital, preference share capital, debentures, bonds, are the forming part of capital structure. What is the other thing which reflects on the credit, that means liability side, that is current liabilities. And current liabilities are already dealt in operating activities. And what about asset side? There are non-current assets and current assets. Non-current assets are already covered in investing activities. And current assets are covered in operating activities. So, we were left with equity and debt. And that equity and debt is going to be covered in this activity. Let us start this question. Here, we have few adjustments as well. Interim dividend on equity share capital is 15 percent and this additional equity is issued at the end. That means, this issue of 4 lakh rupees was done at the end of the year. That means, the whole year, we had just 2 lakh rupees in our hand and we have to provide dividend to this figure only, 2 lakh, because you issued shares at the end of the year. So, let us understand this thing. Interim dividend on equity, 15 percent of 2 lakh, 30,000. And if you people recall business studies or the theoretical part of this company accounts, we know when it comes to distribution of dividend, preference shareholders are on the priority. And in this question, you are provided with preference share capital as well. And luckily, there is no plus minus in the balances of preference share capital. 10 percent preference share dividend is also to be calculated, 10 percent of 3 lakh, which means 30,000. And we consider that 30,000 on preference shareholders as dividend were paid before equity share capital. Then we have few debentures with us, which were 1 lakh in the beginning and 2 lakh at the end and the adjustment says these 10 percent debentures were issued on 1st October. Students, interest on debenture is a charge, so it is to be calculated. As the question is saying, debentures were issued on 1st of October, so interest on debentures would be 
1 lakh into 10 percent, but for 6 months plus 2 lakh 10 percent for 6 months. This make it 5000 plus 10,000 is equal to 15,000. So, these all things are going to be in your working notes. Let us start putting these items into format. Cash flow from financing activities. The first item is equity share capital moving from 2 to 6 lakh plus issue of share capital positive 4 lakh. Then we have dividend as well and we calculated it 30,000 and it is an outflow. Students, here you need to focus on this item of dividend. If you recall the format of cash flow from operating activities, first of first we calculated net profit before tax and extraordinary items where we added this dividend. Being an extraordinary item, we added it over there, but we are subtracting it in cash flow from financing activities. That means, this dividend thing is going to be treated twice. If you will get a question where you have to calculate operating, financing, investing, all the three things combinedly, then there are few items which are to be treated twice and dividend is one of them. Dividend is to be added in cash flow from operating activities and to be deducted from financing activities like I am doing now. Then if you recall investing activities, we treated few items like this there as well. For an example, you added interest received in investing activity. and we used to subtract such kind of income from operating activities, receiving rent, interest, dividend, those all kind of incomes are not our operating thing. That is why we deduct it in the operating thing and then add it back to investing. In the same way, we are treating dividend. I repeat, deducting it from financing and adding it in the operating. Okay, students, let us move ahead. Second thing is security premium reserve. It has increased from 2 lakh to 3 lakh. It is an inflow of cash, 1 lakh. Then we have debentures. Debentures have increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. But we calculated interest on debentures also. Subtract interest on debentures. And it is 15,000, right? And last thing we have is preference share capital. It is 3 lakh to 3 lakh. There is no addition subtraction in the face value. Dividend on preference share capital 30,000. There are three items in this question, like this dividend paid, which was on equity interest on debentures and then we had dividend on preference share capital. These are three special items which are added and subtracted according to the inflow or outflow of cash in financing activities, but they are to be treated twice. The reverse effect is to be provided in cash flow from operating activities and this is how a full-fledged question of cash flow statement is done. Okay, students, let us balance it. So, here is the conclusion cash flow from financing activity. Let us understand cash flow from financing activity by one more question. In this question, we have long term loan which has increased from 2 lakh to 250,000 and there is an adjustment as well. During the year, the company repaid the loan of rupees 1 lakh. If you see, initially the loan was rupees 2 lakh, 
if 1 lakh rupee is already paid, it should remain 1 lakh. But the closing balance is saying that it is 250,000. Loan has increased from 1 lakh to 250,000. That means the company has raised a loan of 150,000. I hope I made you clear with this thing. I repeat, initially the loan was rupees 2 lakh. 1 lakh rupee is repaid. That means loan should appear 1 lakh. But in the closing, you are seeing that the loan is 250,000. An increment of 150,000 is there. That means the company has raised a loan of rupees 150,000 additionally. Then we have preference share capital, which has got reduced from 4 lakh to 3 lakh. We have an adjustment to that. Preference share capital was redeemed at a premium of 5% at the end of the year. Sometimes shareholders get the money back, preference shareholders, and they get it at a premium. As you can see, there is a reduction in the value of preference share capital, 4 lakh to 3 lakh, and this reduction is done on a premium, and the premium rate is 5%. And at last, we have debentures. Debentures are 12% debentures, increasing from 3 lakh to 4 lakh. And the adjustment says additional debentures were issued on 31st March 19. That means at the end of the year, the debentures were issued. Let's deal these adjustments one by one. Firstly, I'll go with the loan thing. Loan of rupees 2 lakh, repaid 1 lakh, it should be 1 lakh, but at the end, I am seeing that it is 250,000. That means, we have raised a bank loan, that is 150,000. Clear students? We could have made this thing by making an account also. Let us see that. Simply, we would draw a liability account, opening balance will be appearing on the credit side that is 2 lakh and closing balance would be appearing on the debit side and the question says we have repaid that means reduction in the liability on the debit side of rupees 1 lakh. This total makes it 350,000, total of both sides should be 350,000 but we would be left with a balancing figure of 150,000 that means we raised one more bank loan. So if you raised it, it is going to be added in financing and you have paid it, that is 1 lakh, this is going to be deducted from financing. Okay, this is our first adjustment. Now a second adjustment is preference share capital was redeemed at the end of the year at a percent, at a premium of 5 percent, okay. Preference share capital is getting reduced from 4 lakh to 3 lakh and this 1 lakh rupee repayment is attracting a premium of 5 percent. Premium on redemption, 5 percent of 1 lakh, that means 5000, that means Final payment to preference shareholder is 1 lakh for the face value and 5000 for the redemption thing. That is 1 lakh and 5000. And never forget when you have preference share capital and percentage mentioned and no other information is given. That means you have to provide for dividend. And the question is really very simple. It is saying that this redemption happened at the end of the year. That means for the whole year, you were holding balance of rupees 4 lakh. Dividend on preference shareholders, 10% of 4 lakh, 40,000. At last, we have 12% debentures, 3 lakh to 4 lakh. And the question says, these additional debentures were issued on 31st March. That means at the end, 
it clearly states that we were holding debentures for rupees 3 lakh because the addition is made on end. So, interest is to be provided 12 percent for rupees 3 lakh, it means 36,000. We have done all the calculations. Now, we will place each and every item in the format. Let us start from the very first thing that is long term loan. Loan has increased from 2 to 250, but it had an adjustment which we did by the way of account and other ways. So, we raised a loan of 150,000 according to the working note and we paid 1 lakh rupee loan as well plus raised bank loan 150,000 repayment of loan 1 lakh. Then we had 10 percent preference share capital for which we did this thing. Preference share holders were paid back and provided with the dividend as well. Redemption of preference share capital. You can write this 1 lakh 5000 combinedly or separately. We can show it anyway. For full disclosure, I am showing it separately. Premium on redemption. Then we have 12 percent debentures, 3 lakh to 4 lakh. Issue of debentures 3 lakh to 4 lakh. Then we calculated the interest that is 36,000. So, this is how we deal with the items of financing activities. If we conclude, we will get the final figure which could be cash inflow from financing activity or say cash outflow from financing activities. Here we come to know that the final thing is 9000 and it is cash flow from financing activities. This is how we come to an end of this chapter and you all are advised to practice similar kind of questions from your textbook. Thank you.